One of the best techniques to not only catch a lot of walleyes, but oftentimes the biggest walleyes in your system is crankbaits. And the reason I think that is, is because crankbaits can entice both a feeding bite and a reactionary striking bite. Now when you start looking at crankbaits, there's a lot of them out there, but there are basically two main styles that you want to look at for walleyes. You want to look at shad style baits, and you want to look at the thinner, longer minnow style baits. I'm going to mainly talk about this one here because it's one of the hottest ones going right now for walleye fishing. This is called a flicker minnow. Now, the thing about a flicker minnow is, is that it was designed, first of all, to have the right action. It's got roll to it, but it's also got a snakiness to it, and that's what the minnow style baits need. Now, the next thing you want to look at when you're actually picking out which bait you're going to use is a couple of different factors, and the first one is going to be size. Um, a lot of people make the mistake of picking out the size of their bait based on how deep they want it to go. Depth is important, we'll talk about that in a second. But probably the more important thing is to look at the action of the bait. And what I mean by that is, first of all, like say you're fishing tough conditions, uh, a cold front, cooling water temperatures, you wanna look at a little bit more subtle action. That's when I go to the smaller size baits, like say a, a five, this five, or a seven. If I'm gonna go to uh, uh, where the, the weather's real stable and it's consistent, maybe I've got bigger fish in the system, that's where I move up to a nine or an 11 type bait. Now, the cool thing about these flicker minnows, they go all different ranges. They go very, very deep, though, for the subtle action that they have, a uh, finesse kind of an action. You know, the number five can go all the way down to 14 feet on monofilament, 10-pound XT. You can go all the way down to about 24 foot on the number 11 with, with XT. If you go to Fireline, which is a little thinner, you can get all the way down to 30 foot deep, so impressive dive curves. Now, the next thing you got to look at is obviously colors. Uh, you know, a lot of people think color is the first thing you should look at, but again, look at the action and the size, but those colors are very, very important. Uh, a lot of times when I'm looking at uh, fishing these, you want to do one of two things. You either want to match the hatch, but don't be afraid to go gaudy. Uh, easily half of the time we use purples, chartreuse, pinks, all kinds of weird colors and just really let the walleyes tell you which one is right. So there's two different styles of baits, shads and flicker minnows. Between those two you got a one-two punch to put a lot of fish in the boat.